Good morning, everybody, from Ocean City, Maryland. We're right here on the boardwalk, starting day two of our Atlantic Coast Drive. And that's going from Delaware over there at Fenwick Island area in Rehoboth Beach, all the way down to Key West. It's about 45, 48 degrees this morning. It's a cold this morning. You ready, Seth? Yeah, I'm ready. Exactly. Today we're going to go to the boardwalk behind us. We'll go over to the Chesapeake Bay you Bridge Tunnel and drive through that. We'll also do uh, maybe a couple of lighthouses today, Virginia Beach Boardwalk, and then we got a whole other list of things to do. So um, not as action-packed, probably, or as much stuff as Route 66, but still a lot, of the, lot to do. Right there behind me is the cool boardwalk sign. Oh, the beach ball, yeah. Right back there is the beach ball. At the very bottom, it's got water on it. So it's painted with like the beach balls in the water. But it's early, it's about eight o'clock in the morning. So not a whole lot's probably gonna be open right now. It's freezing. But another boardwalk. And then we'll go to another boardwalk. I love boardwalks. So that being said, let's check out the boardwalk and hit the road for day two of our Atlantic Coast adventure. Let's go. Heading under the boardwalk sign, Ocean City, Maryland. I think everything's closed. But yeah, it looks like it's that's early. That's part of the, you know, thing that you run into when you're on these road trips and you have to start your day early. And off season too. Yeah. There's Tony's Pizza, another place. Did you see Tony on top of the building? Oh, no, I didn't, but there he is. They have a rooftop dining too at Tony's Pizza. There's a big Coca-Cola chair we'll show you over there in a second. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. neat. is dedicated to the firefighters of the world that's awesome look at that clock too right there ocean city maryland that's cool to have a firefighter memorial right here it is st patrick's day weekend tomorrow is st patrick's day well we came across here there's a full-on st patrick's day run here There's a lot of people here, wow. Look at this beautiful view they have here of the ocean. Wow. So this is gonna be as far as you can see out there. I'll zoom in real quick past this pole right here. Look at that, as far as you can see, there's runners, runners, and more runners. Auntie Anne's body piercing t-shirt factory. That's where we went yesterday, we went to T-shirt factory. Yeah, I wish I had known there was a... Yeah. Are you thinking I've ever joined it? Darn. There's a, a Dumb Sears, Dairyland. Yeah. That was really good. Since 1939, Arcade. Look at the Ferris wheel on their stuff. Yep. Uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not and the Ferris wheel. Where's Ripley's? Straight ahead. Oh, sure is. Yeah. They what are they called going to today? We seen a lot of these core bros, I guess it's called, K-O-H-R bros, since 1919. That'd be something we try if we come back in the future, probably. Let well, us know in the comments if you've had it before. Yeah, but then Fishers. Oh man, that popcorn's so good and stuff. It's tempting not just to get more of the popcorn over here. But the, uh, the kettle corn we got was really good. And then also, uh, the Old Bay caramel corn was amazing. Oh, it smells good. You smell stuff? Oh, God, yeah, it just hit me. It's yeah. Me yeah, it smells so good. And look there, everybody on their hotel balcony is watching the run. It's just still going. Oh, they're going all around the pier out there, around the music area. That's a long run. But this beach is almost like to get to the portion. It's almost as long as it was in LA. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Santa Monica Beach is. Like it's, you have to walk for what seems like a decade to get to the actual ocean. Yeah. In the sand, and it's kind of similar. Let's look at the hotel she right there. Went back and forth everywhere. Oh, I bet all these places are good. Look at the deep fried funnel cakes, Oreos. Yeah, this would be awesome in like the summertime, besides the crowds and the heat, <laughs> but to see everything fully open and, and fully running. Yeah. And there's another candy kitchen. How many of these have we seen? 18 and 8 blocks. I'm not, I'm not even joking. There's at least a candy kitchen on every block. 
Like more than you see in even a Pigeon Forge or got more than Smoky. Yeah, for it's sure. Crazy. Another candy kitchen. This is Somerset Plaza right here. And now we're just in between the race. Oh, we need to get a bike right there. I don't know what that means. Bikes eight. I sure remember Lenox City was expensive. People did those. That one's closed. No candy in that one. Now we're about to turn around and head back out of here, but there's the uh, Ripley's Blue Ring. I got a cool shark on this one, stuff. Look at that. They don't open until 10. I just Googled it. I wish I could go in. Yeah, we just don't have the time on these trips because we got to keep moving, you know? Look at this. Since 1923, the Atlantic Hotel right there. So you can enter right there. The hotel's on top. But there's shops right there. There's a balcony on top of it. And then a seagull right there next to it. <laughs> Let's at least go check out these things outside of Ripley. Yeah. Look at this Jolly Roger amusement. There was a couple of music areas up here. We do some dark rides on and stuff. But a lot of these don't open up for another few more months. But maybe we'll get to those in the future. I like that shark out there. That's really cool. There's a big Hulk out here. A big rhinoceros. A big tire over here. Three-ton tire. And then, look at this rhinoceros right here. Whoa. That's cool. Frozen chocolate bananas, calzones, subs, candy apple, cotton candy, candy apples. And this is the outside of Ripley's right here. Look at that photo off right there, Steph. Squishmallows. And there's just more and more, and it goes as far as you can see to the end down there. But we're going to turn back around and head back out of here. We can't access it right now due to the run, but there's a humpback whale coming out of the sand right there. Look at that. It's really interesting. There's a beautiful view of the ocean and back at the amusement park over there. We we're heading out of Ocean City, Maryland to our next stop. There's another Rise Up Coffee right here. It was so good, we had to stop again. How they recommend it. Fantastic coffee. Another good service location right organic here. organic coffee. Oh, nice. I love organic. This is about maybe, what, two miles from Russian City stuff? Yeah. So, there we go. Hit the road. Ice cold beverage. We stopped at the visitor center real quick. There's a sign there we'll show you. We're about to go into the toll plaza there to go over the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Look at these little chairs out here. They have a little uh, pelicans on top. They look really cool. This is going to be exciting. The Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. It's just that way and a scenic overlook as well. Okay, here's a little bit of information about the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel that we're about to go over. So there's the entire map there. We'll be starting up here from the eastern shore of Virginia, then going down all the way over to Virginia Beach. So it's pretty cool to get all this information about it here. Looks like there's two tunnels there, four islands. It was like 50 feet channel depth. There's a board tunnel there we'll be driving through. And some quick facts about it as well. $137 million for the original crossing. The southbound crossing was $250 million. Wow. That's really interesting right there. Length is 17.6 miles from Fisherman Island to Virginia Beach. Depth of water along the route is 25 to 100 feet. And each tunnel is one mile long. We are leaving the visitor center and we are going to be heading through the toll plaza and then we got a scenic overlook to look at as well. So head this way here and uh, we'll go over here to the... We'll pay our $16. $16 easy pass lane here. Easy pass only. And there we go. They will not charge our easy pass. Sixteen dollars. <laughs> and then right up here, if I was reading correctly, should be a scenic overlook. Here is the scenic overlook. Oh wow. What? Look at this view. Yeah, going down. Yeah, but the yeah. view out here is awesome. Oh I can't see. Lots it. and lots of parking though. Dude, that's nice. Let's say everybody so far is just one car here pulled parallel park. 
Yeah. So we'll park right here and we'll see y'all in a minute. Look at this view. This is the scenic overlook. So as soon as you go through the toll plaza, uh, it's the first right going um, like towards Virginia Beach area. Now look at this behind me. There's the one of the bridges we're going over right there very soon, but this is just beautiful out here. It's just it's beautiful skies out and everything. Just look at that. The beach right there, the ocean. Listen to that. Just listen for a few seconds. That's awesome. That's that's cool right there. Be sure to do the stop. Y'all come over the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, or Bay Bridge Tunnel thing of Auburn. <laughs> Be sure to do this. I was heading back in the car. Notice there's a divided highway right there, so you can get to this overlook from both sides. So it doesn't matter which way you go over the bridge. Highly recommend stopping here. You see how cool it is with those beautiful views and everything right there. All right, we are pulling out now, and back on to the road we go. Get this sped up a little bit here and uh, show you as much as we can the tunnels and everything. But you already stepped the 20 ish miles here. I'm ready. All right, let's do it. This is all a protected wildlife refuge out here. So as you drive through this area, you can see all these cool beaches and everything. There's a pristine condition. And we had our first bridge right here. We have made it to Virginia Beach and there's a blimp. Let's get a little closer for you. Look at there. There is a blimp over Virginia Beach currently. Very, very brown sand. Yeah, we're used to Dustin Fort Walt with the white sand, but not as far to walk here though either as it was up there in uh, was it Maryland. Maryland was really far. It's like an old pier down there, it looks like. Way down there. I'll show you that real quick. There's an old pier down there. Not much to do here. No, it's not. Not like the other boardwalks we've been on recently. This one's concrete. Yeah, it looks like all just hotels in this area. There may not be a whole lot to do. Way down there by the pier, there may be some more stuff. There's a lot of hotels, which is mostly hotels, balconies, and the beach. And a blimp. And then... There's the moon. You can't even see the moon, really. Heading back up to the street area. Look at that big skull right there. The hands peeking over the zombie eyeball. That's called Nightmare Mansion, it looks like. Or it may have been Nightmare Mansion at one point. Right now, it's in a tattoo. It looks like a gift shop. That may be a cool like, haunted attraction at one point in time. So there's Sun Sensations store here. And all hotels and everything. And just a, another cool beachy town, right, Steph? Yeah, so I was looking at Nightmare Mansion. It is a haunted house. It doesn't open until 6. Oh, okay. So, so there's a gift shop in the front, I guess, like a tourist shop. Yeah. That's probably on the second floor. Yeah, do you see the guy in the window underneath the big skull? Oh, yeah, let me zoom in on that. <laughs> oh, it has. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Cruising through the main Virginia Beach strip. Uh, we were talking about going to the pier, but the parking lot was pretty full over at the pier. And the ferry didn't look, even look open today, so I wasn't sure if it actually was open. The Ferris wheel, uh, it was just like a little Ferris wheel, a little small thing over there. We saw some of those core ice cream places here, C O H or K O H R. Uh, so if y'all know about those, let us know in the comments. We need to try those at some point in the future. But uh, so far, yeah, just looking straight ahead, it's just mostly hotels here. There's a few little shops, but there's not a whole lot to do in Virginia Beach, it looks like. Uh-uh. We're just going to cruise on down the rest of the strip, and we see something cool, we'll stop and show you, but, I mean, what you see to your right and left is... It's just mostly, I think, little restaurants and hotels. Yeah. I think we've been spoiled a lot, because we go to Orange Beach a lot, and also uh -huh. Dustin a lot. I know we're going back to Dustin's trip to film some stuff, but 
they didn't even spoil with what we're used to and down those areas on Orange Beach and Dustin. Uh, but yeah. Another cool little thing on the wall. Aliens. Planet Pizza. Huh. Tell me we are open. Planet Pizza. That's cool. Best pizza in the galaxy. We have made it to our next stop. We're in the Outer Banks. We're here at the Wright Brothers Visitor Center. So we're gonna head on inside, check out where that first flight happened at, and also just check out what it has to offer here. And then we'll be heading over to Lighthouse next, and then um, probably over to New Bern, North Carolina next, which I'll explain that when we get close to the Lighthouse. Let's head inside. Okay. There's some things to do here. So we can go down to... Here's a map of looking at the whole place right here. So we're here right now. All the way to the monument. We'll drive over there and see that. And there's the first flight markers right there. The first flight, December 17th, 1903. Look at that airplane. Let's hop on it, stuff. That's really cool. And then there's just a cool museum in here. Home museum and everything. There's a plane over there. And outside where the uh, memorial or the markers will be. They also have a museum store here, too. They have a whole timeline wall here that explains everything and talks about their entire like history here all the way down to the very end there anybody else think that susan white looks like courtney kardashian hmm, interesting uh, wilbur and orville whole lot of information about them right here that they are right there this here talks about the race to human flight now, we're not going to show you every single thing in this whole museum i definitely recommend coming here and there's a lot of information here um, but definitely come here and check it out. It's been awesome so far, but focus on power, focus on control. Uh, Julie's trying to handle more to see what the rabbiters saw. You have to lean and turn to stay balanced and in control. Now you have to lean with it. Then you got to rock with it. Lean with it, rock with it. Now wind tunnels have changed quite a bit. Look at this. A little information about right there. That was their wind tunnel back then. So they're testing to figure everything out. There's a little bit more information about it right there. But it's interesting to see an old school wind tunnel on it. There's the clip right here, their first public flight to Le Mans, France, August 8th, 1908. Wow. Look, this is from his um, Wilbur's diary. It says flight lasted almost, or about three seconds after. I can't read that, the rest of it. This whole wall here talks about everything from how it started to how it was, like the evolution of the glider. 1899 right there. 1990. 1901. And it's 1902. And you can see right there, 1899 to 1902. And turn around and look at this right here. There's the full on ladder right there. Wow. The full size replica of the 1903 fly, uh, flyer. That took power flight from fans to, to reality. The original one said, oh wow. Yeah, it's um, the National Air and Space Museum, Washington. We need to go see that, don't we? Mm -hmm. That's right, cool. There's another look at it right there. There's a far off look at the markers. There's the last one right there. It's one, two, and three right there. At the starting marker. Also, caution. This area is filled with prickly pear cactus. <laughs> and here's some information Steph was reading right here. Oh yeah, they made four successful sustained power flights on 1903. Headline. So the first one was 12 seconds, 120 feet. 12 seconds, they went 175 feet. 15 seconds, they went 200. And for the fourth one, for a 59 seconds, they went 852 feet. Yeah. That's the stones right there. That main one right there is the starting point. And then that was 12 seconds, 120. And then 12 seconds, 125, 15, 200 feet. And way down there. Way down there is that other one right there. That's the 59 seconds, 852 feet. So they lived and worked here. So this is like one of their homes right here. This is really neat. Got a little table right there to eat at. They got like a big workshop space back there to work in, it looks like. There's like a little sink area. Stove. Oh, the beds are up top, so have you seen it? There's like two, see there's like burlap sacks right there? So oh, the, flipped? Yeah. It's all off the ground right there. And then Scarf. here's that sign about it here. We just read a second ago. Well, we read it down on camera, but it talks about home away from home. 
And then another place for them to work on the planes out in here. So full workshop in here and everything. And all they do is go right here to the runway when they're done for all our test flights. We are the first successful flight of an airplane was made from this spot by Oval Wright, December 17, 1903. So we're standing all on the spot right now. And then right here is the runway. So this is where the flight would have gone at. So literally, our feet stuff, let's go step in the sand right here. Why are you in the sand? This is the sand the first airplane went off on. Oh. Woo! That's awesome. And there's a little marker right here. First flight, 100th anniversary stone right there. And then, uh, I guess it's got that first little marker there, but there's four of them. The first flight. I was. 2024, and you've never been on one flight. I've been on a plane before. Have you? Actually, two planes. But has it gone up in the air? No, one was at the Smithsonian. It was, a, it was like, taken apart. Yeah. The other one was a C-130 in the military. Yeah. I was not in the military, for clarification. Uh, some of my family members were that we taxied around the runway on a C-130. So I've been in the airplane, I've been on the runway taxiing, I've never been off the ground in a, in a plane. <laughs> There's the end of the first flight, and this copies down, so in the first flight, in the second flight, in the third, and then all the way to the end, I'll zoom in more for you. That very last stone way down there is the end of the, uh, the fourth flight. How far can we zoom in down there? There you go, it's ten times zoom right there. So I'll zoom back out to here. But there we go. So this is the whole flight path right here, and you can see why they chose this place. Imagine this has no grass out here, just all sand. Of course, that building wouldn't have been here. Yeah, it's not too bad, but there's some wind gusts today. So you can imagine a lot of wind back in the days. And that's all these trees may not have been here either. It's hard to say for sure. Yeah. But you can definitely see why they chose this place right here. I mean, there's nothing but just perfect. Really perfect for flying. Here's a look at the bottom of the hill to the monument there. That's just really interesting to see the monument placed on top of the hill. That's a pill mound of sand and stuff. It sure is. A little bit closer look at the monument. Also, it's got a little uh, light on top there. That, that is just an awesome thing they did there for Wilbur and Orville and their aviation birthplace. Coming around the loop road, look at this cool like monument statue over here. It's just a big um, sculpture of the plane itself. And there's a bunch of other sculptures we'll walk around and show you. But look at that. And here's the sign that kind of describes everything I've been showing you. There's all the names right there corresponding to the statues right there. So Orville Wright is the one piloting that plane. Wilbur is the uh, stayed the wing and then let go as the flyer lifted off, which is there in the front. And there's the photographer back here in the back. So a little more information about it right there. That's really cool. It just kind of explains everything that went on. And like if I was the photographer, I'll walk right up here in the sand. This is what I'll be photographing. Or making a photo of. Hello? Right there. We're going through this cool little area here. It's like the front of the road too. And it's like the Alligator River running along this. It's just like marshlands and just... Really cool. I think I saw an okay. alligator pop his head up earlier. It says Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge is located on the Albemarle Peninsula in Eastern North Carolina. It was established in 1984 that car, babe. to protect the rare Pakistan wetlands and their associated wildlife. Huh. Let's see. The vast protected area supports large populations of black bear, wintering waterfowl, river otter, and other wildlife. Oh, yeah, yeah. Looks you like... also may see endangered red wolves in the wild. Oh, that's cool. See how yeah. the trees on both sides and the marsh and water. It's just a cool road yeah. to drive on right here. This is the main road coming out if you don't go down to Cape Hatteras and everything. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. You can see my uh, leopard pillow. <laughs> well, if you saw a wolf, that'd be really cool. cool wolf. Oh, girl, know. zoomed in. Sorry. Uh, what if you saw a wolf? A wolf. A wolf? A wolf. Huh. I wonder if there really is alligators out there. I don't really know. It didn't say on the website. No. Anybody, comment, anybody watching this, let us know. Is there actually alligators in the river? I would test the waters for you, but then the video wouldn't get uploaded. So you would never have to hear me ask. You. What did we just discover? The American alligator is in the Alligator River. <laughs> so, it can be from 6 to 14 feet long. 
and they're almost black in color. We have made it to Plymouth, North Carolina. And check this out right here. This is a 63 foot long replica of the 158 foot long Civil War ship, uh, the Civil War ironclad CSS Albemarle, A-L-B-E-M-A-R-L-E, Albemarle. Well, that's really cool. It's right here on the river. There's a little park up here we parked in. That's a whole park here along the river and everything. But well, it's a 63 foot long exact replica of the 158 foot long original ship. It's down here floating. We have arrived at our hotel in New Bern. We've always wanted to stay in New Bern. Seth's been here before. I have never been here before. It's the Double Tree. I'll show you a quick look around. There's a quick look at the bathroom here. Now, it is a little bit of an older hotel. It does seem to be pretty clean, though. Fully mirror, some storage in there right there. You got fridge, microwave, couple bottles of water included. You have your bed over here. Uh, each little uh, lamp's got USB and uh, plugs on it. Also, you know the double tree cookies. Oh yeah. And I must admit, there's only two guests here, but for some reason, when they hooked us up before, I may have asked for that. <laughs> but king size bed, nice TV there, good size desk over here, coffee lamp with more plugs on it, uh, chair over here, clock, here. typical room. I love this right here, Pepsi Cola Company. So you got a nod to Pepsi Cola. New Bern is the birthplace of Pepsi Cola. And we're gonna go drink a Pepsi tomorrow in front of the little uh, pharmacy there. And um, gonna go over here to the balcony real quick. What do you got, Steph? Oop. <laughs> I'll make the cookies. Oh yeah. <laughs> now a lot of the hotels in this area are older, but this is what we came here for as well is is this view right here but we're looking at New Bern a lot of hotels seem to be older in New Bern we're like you know we really want to stay in New Bern and older hotels are okay sometimes aren't they Steph mm -hmm. well, look at that view right there pool is closed for the season but wow we decided to come down to the hotel restaurant we're the only ones in here right now but the bar over there is packed full so that's got a St. Patrick's Day color drink. I love your hat. <laughs> they got a little uh, have a table that. right there, oh, I have and then that. they ran out of the uh, they ran out of these. They actually made them fresh from scratch for us. But there's their corned beef uh, spring rolls. Mm -hmm. They look really good. Not sure what this is though. I don't know, but it looks like a good oh. something. Oh. Our food has arrived. These things right here were absolutely amazing. That's our St. Patrick's Day snack or treat there. Stuff got this lemon pasta with chicken and bread and everything. And I got this burger. It's got uh, cheese. It's got fried leeks on there. It's got a Pepsi Cola from New Bern uh, barbecue sauce, cheese, and fries. Just looks fantastic here. So that does it for day number two on the road. Our Atlantic Coast trip is off to an amazing start. And here soon we'll be in Key West, probably another five-ish days or so. Uh, looking forward to it. We're in New Bern right now, New Bern, North Carolina. Uh, so you can see right behind me, actually, Pepsi Cola. It's the birthplace of Pepsi Cola. So tomorrow we're going to go out front. We had a change of plans about a month before this trip. So originally we had a plan to go inside the birthplace and uh, it's like a little kind of shop in there. But unfortunately, it looks like on Sundays they open at noon. So we may not be able to go inside. But I'm definitely going to drink a Pepsi outside of the place. There's an awesome breakfast place in town I want to try. So that's coming tomorrow. We're going to see Steph's family. And then keep heading south. And we'll end up somewhere in South Carolina tomorrow. So looking forward to that. As far as today goes, another awesome day. Today was more of a roadie day. We're kind of on the road a lot more. Uh, but we knew that ahead of time. Just trying to get uh, along the coast as much as we can on the beach towns. Uh, but we went to uh, the boardwalk this morning up in uh, Ocean City, Maryland. Got to see the running, the 5K run for St. Patrick's Day. That was cool. I just love all those boardwalks, the wooden boardwalks and the shops. I know we don't like heat and we don't like like the busy seasons for the beach for us, but I bet that boardwalk would be amazing in the summertime besides the heat and the crowds. Like to see the amusement park open and all the shops and everything would be really cool. Uh, then we drove down on the coast and then we went over to, uh, or we went through the uh, Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel System. That whole thing is interesting. It's fun to drive on, beautiful views. Uh, just really cool <laughs> you know it's a long drive over that whole bridge but and that was something very unique and very cool uh, and we went down to Virginia Beach uh, we've been going to Orange Beach and Destin quite a bit 
Uh, I would say probably Virginia Beach, unfortunately, is probably our least favorite beach we've ever been to. This wasn't a whole lot going on. Um, this really wasn't kind of our, our type of thing. We like the Destin Orange Beach scene. Um, still a pretty beach out there. And uh, just not really our scene for Virginia Beach. But glad to finally go to Virginia Beach and check that off the list. Uh, we also saw that cool little uh, um, replica ship. That's later on in the video, I know. But uh, that was cool. We also went to... Um, I'm trying to think of what we did today. Um, the oh yeah, the Wright Brothers and then uh, Kitty Hawk, Kill Devil Hills. Uh, Stephanie grew up close to that area and I also been in that area when I was younger. Uh, so I don't remember anything about it from younger besides going to the Wright Brothers thing. Uh, but it was uh, it was pretty cool to go back there. Uh, in the future we're going to go back and do a full video in uh, Cape Hatteras area and do these two lighthouses over there, a couple museums. Maybe next year, maybe the year after. It's going to be a little bit further off. we got a lot more road trips planned, but we'll do that. Um, and then, uh, and that was all we did. Came over to the hotel in New Bern. I had an awesome meal here at the hotel. We're checked in over here. Uh, the Alligator River area was cool. I'm sure we're probably missing a couple of things, but all just another great road trip. You know, we're trying to hug the coast as much as we can all the way down. If you didn't watch the first video, the goal was to go, uh, starting this trip, Rehoboth Beach, uh, all the way down to Key West. And then in the future, we're going to go over with Beach uh, up into Canada that way, probably Nova Scotia area, something like that, and really finish that out. Um, but all in all, another great day on the road. Tomorrow, like I said, we're going to South Carolina, see Seth's family for a little bit. That's going to be a great day. Um, but yeah, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and end the vlog here. We are tired and we are full. That restaurant was amazing. And this is the Doubletree um, Hotel here in New Bern, but they ran out of the Reuben. Uh, or the corned beef egg roll or spring rolls. This one tell you this real quick. And they actually found the ingredients real quick, but fresh for tomorrow, and like handmade them real quick for us to make sure we get to try them. So that was really awesome. Just great service here. Um, but yeah, tomorrow, head over to Pepsi Cola first thing in the morning, and some good breakfast we found here in town. Or what looks to be a good breakfast. We'll let you know tomorrow how it is. But see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for joining us. It's been another great day. And the nerds are...